Hey, David here with Guide Recommended. We're on module number five of our free fly tying course. So we're gonna get into the technique. So how to bind material onto the hook, how to thread the bobbin, how to put hair on, all that good stuff. And then we're gonna lead into tying our first flies. We're gonna tie the San Juan worm. San Juan worm, easiest fly to tie. Gives you some basic techniques of putting thread on the hook. All right, I'm getting excited about starting to uh, touch some hooks and some thread. So let's put our hook in the vise, right? Level, when you say level, horizontal, right? Grab the bend. Do not clamp on the barb. Tighten it down and set it in place. Don't, this isn't good, right? On an angle, buried barb. The reason why the barb wants to be out, um, the hook is tempered, and if you start putting a little dent in that hook at that bend, at the barb, where it's actually weakened a little bit, good chance of causing a breakage in that hook in the future. All right, next up, let's thread our bobbin. Bobbin, right? Step one, put your bobbin in, or your thread in the bobbin. Make sure your end, nice and square. If you need to lick that a little bit so you don't have any stray um, fibers, that's okay. Thread it in. Get, you know, a half inch or so. And then, and you'll draw that guy up. Okay. Sometimes you can be, get this twisted. In fact, some folks will twist the thread around the leg in order to add some tension. I don't... I don't advise that. Easy enough if that happens, right? Disconnect. Put it together. All right. That's threading our bobbin. That's putting our hook on. Next up, we'll be starting the thread. All right, let's start our th thread on the hook. Measure back about three eye lengths on the shank. So when I say eye length, right, your eye is, let's say, a sixteenth of an inch, eighth of an inch, you know, of an inch wide. So just visually, it doesn't have to be exact, start back about three, wrap, you can always wrap over the top, under the bottom, over the top. So I'm wrapping back towards the eye, and then I switch directions and I wrap back over that thread I just started. I like to leave about an eye to an eye and a half of bare metal here at the tip. The reason for that kind of gives you a warning when it gets easy to crowd different materials on the hook itself. So you don't want to do that. It makes tying off, applying adhesive difficult. Cutting, right? Try to get into the habit. Most items, some threads, if you can pull it with some tension. A technique is to just, you know, rub your scissors on it to cut it off. What that does is it only cuts the thing that you've got tension on, right? So if you've got other materials in there but you're not pulling on it, it's not going to cut it. So that's a little technique as well. Try to cut on the top. Wrap back to the bend, usually to the bend or to the barb. So this is wrapping back to the barb and then the bend. A lot of times they'll be right close to each other, right? All right, now that is cutting and applying the thread to the hook. Another item, don't use your good scissors on wires, lead, hard materials like the base stems of feathers. Uh, use some general purpose scissors for those items. You want to try to keep these guys sharp if you can. They actually are a special 
blade. It's actually serrated to help kind of grab onto the material as you're cutting it. Hey, David here, jumping in. If you can, check out those links below. They will take you to my website, Guide Recommended, where I've got the whole course organized in such a way that it makes perfect sense, right? You'll see things starting at the beginning and progressing down and teaching you all of the things you need to know and then leading you into three or four flies to tie. Flies to tie. Thanks. All right, let's add some material to the hook. Just a little piece of marabou. So a lot of times what you'll do is you'll measure, you'll, you'll hear me say, measure the shank length, right? So that would be shank length, right? And then you'll pinch on at that measurement. And if you notice, the measurement point was inside my fingers, inside my fingers. So I'm pinching the feather. I'm now pinching the actual hook shank. And I'm gonna run that thread up in between those two, right? Loose, right? So the thread is now pinched inside there as well. Two, la two loose wraps and then pull up, pulling up and back to me, right? And releasing my hand, that is attaching material. A lot of times you wanna cut on an angle Wrap that down. The other way of attaching materials is let your bobbin hang. Attaching material to your hook shank is to, I'm hoping you can see this okay. So I'm pushing against my thread, raising up to the top of the thread, you know, at the top of the hook, and it's on, right? At this point, I can add a couple more you know, wraps, and I got it in place. Um, with rubber or with a lot of materials, you can pull that material when it's not a super tight wrap, right? Shorten that up. You can also reposition, right? If I want it on the side. So I snip that guy off. Tie it down well. So adding dubbing, you're gonna to get to do this a lot. The key to adding dubbing is small pinches of material that you can control. So it doesn't take much. This kit from Hairline, there's a lot of dubbing. There's a lot of flies in these little bags. It doesn't look like it, but you're gonna have plenty. Pull down about three inches. Moisten your fingers with a little bit of saliva. A very faint traces of dubbing. You sp spin that on. If you don't like the idea of licking your fingers, you get a little bit of wax. Apply that to your thread as well. With that fine application, I can control where I place it and add or sub, you know, subtract as I want, right? So that is putting dubbing on. Last up is, let's do a little bit of hair stacking. The best way to do this, small clump, right? Most of the time, half a pencil. Snip that off, right? We've got our hair stacker, right? But before you stick it in there, there are fine under hairs that will stop this hair from stacking, right? Just pull that out, get that fuzz out, right? Into your hair stacker. I found like a circular motion like that. We'll help put it in. So you got it in. Tap it on your table. Right? Horizontal, open it up, and now you've got your hairs are all kind of the same length. Pull that out. You're gonna measure 
Right, I'm gonna want this about this long. We got our put a hook shank, switch hands. There's that pinch grab again, right? A loose, loose, tighten, more wraps, right? Now cut on your angle. Wrap forward on this one since I'm right at that head. I'm gonna wrap back a little bit. That is adding hair with your hair stacker. Quick little half hitch. Put this on. Application of some head cement. This loon water based is pretty nice. It comes with an applicator. Liberal coating. This will absorb in nicely. Let that guy dry. Heck, I might have a fishable fly right there. So let's get into doing some flies. Next up is our San Juan worm. 